Hi, Robert Beauchamp for the training on the imaging software today. We're just going to uh, quickly review how to open up the software from your desktop, meaning if you're not bridged with a practice management software, you will have on your desktop a data um, icon that you'll just click on. Uh, when you click on the data icon, uh, it will open up and launch the software. Uh, and you will see it opening up and waiting for you to open. You might have a password to enter uh, to log in, or you may not. Uh, in this case here, we have one. And once you are in, the first screen would be your patient information screen. So when you want to search for an existing patient, once you've opened up the software and you're using this without a bridge with practice management, so this is where it's working independently. Uh, you can just click on the search button here and it will open up a list of all the patients that you have entered uh, in the database. If you want to search, you could actually search by either name, number, address, city. There's a wide variety of parameters based on you know, what you're looking for and what's in there. Uh, but if you were to look for uh, anything, you would just type it in. So test, you would get your tests coming up and you would just double click on that icon and it will open up the patient and you'll see the name appear here, okay? Uh, if you wanted to now enter into their file and start going into where the imaging is, you would just click on the icon up here in the top left, okay? Uh, if we wanted to add a new client, what you would do is click on the new button. It would open up a new number and automatically label it and then you could type in, again, the next patient. And you can just enter in first name, last name, then you would click the check mark to save them. And then to once again, open up the imaging, you click on the top left icon. Now we will be in the imaging area where you can now acquire images and start to show the patients. Uh, you'll see the name of the patient in the middle here. This is an information bar, okay? So the information that I've entered, you'll see there. So I only put um, the first and last name. I also have the doctor's name that was in the system. That's, I'll show you in another video. Um, and you can change the size of this lettering as well. So if you go to display and desktop panels, and then you drag down, you have info bar. On the info bar, if you want that font size to be larger, you can just click on it and choose the size that you want it to be. If it's too big, you can then go down and change it to the size that fits the appropriate alignment of the screen.